So we can either go to Ceteria Omnesia or Ulteria. So we got Silteria for the Flywalk and the Giant Banyan. And then we got the Volcano and Glassway is the other one. I'm going to work through them chronologically and see what happens. I think we also have a quest still at the minute to um, find somebody in this area. So if I just quickly open up the map, let's see if there's any quest icons on the screen. How much of this area is going to reveal itself? Yeah, let's see, there's a quest icon right there. So I knew there was somebody that we had to meet. Um, ah, but look, I don't have the skates in order to go around there just yet. So I'm going to have to go the long way. That's fine. Oh, you're one of those push types from a tall row. Yeah, that swanky place over there, southeast. Folks down there have no idea how to fight with Temtem. Let me show you. All right. What time do you normally stream? I'm in Australia, so it's pretty late for me. I normally do, on a regular day, I do uh, streaming from about 5 p.m. UK time to 7 p.m. UK time. That's like the solid two-hour window that I will always definitely do. Uh, but as of late, I've actually been streaming earlier in the day because, honestly, Fortnite doesn't really have any content for me to make at the minute. So uh, it means my days are basically open, which is great right now because, obviously, I've got a baby on the way, which means that I can sort of, like, divvy out my... Uh, my energies and whatnot a little bit better um and just kind of go from there with it really so that's kind of what i've been up to um will this work any good let's try this see that chain lightning is not going to work on you let's just try some water moves on you see what happens i get the vibe that that's going to be yeah two times effective uh-oh is this gonna be any good against crystal uh, it's not bad what are crystal types weak to again? They're weak to fire. Oh, a melee. I could bring out Skunch, to be fair. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Do, do, do. Quick hi from an old fan. Haven't really watched anything of yours in ages, but you've been a big help for me in the past. So when I saw you were online, I wanted to drop you a thank you. Yo, what up, kill? How you doing, dude? Yeah, for those of you that are, like haven't been to the channel in a while because you didn't necessarily like Minecraft or you didn't like Fortnite, on Twitch, we are super variety. Um, So that might appeal to you somewhat um i wonder if my spree all will be any good here Let's see what we can do oh the server's lagging today i'll be a first time in a while how many subs do i have the counter is just there dude that's how many subs are on at the minute wow you have facial hair i know right it's getting a bit ridiculous now though it's starting to like bunch out which i don't like so i'm gonna go to a proper place um and have it seem to get it get it get it you know, trim down a bit. Is there much uh, co-op feature in this game? Yes, there is. Yeah, this game's got super, super co-op. Um, so basically, the way it works is, is all... Oh, that's not going to be very effective, is it? Um, yeah, the way that the co-op works is um, you are playing as a duo. And then whenever somebody enters a battle, a different building, or anything else, anything else like that, the other player gets automatically pulled into it, which is pretty cool. And then basically from there, um, when you're doing, say, battles, for example, like I'm controlling two Temtem, it's a case of you each control your own ind individual Temtem, which is pretty sick, to be honest. Um, so that's how that works, which is pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Amishi leveled up. I think to get the Amishi to evolve for the trade, I think I've got to get to, like, level 31 or something, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, wind Burst isn't going to work. Span sand Spatter's not either. Do a regular old peck. Sharp Leaf is not going to work. I've not really got the best uh, Temtem for this, have I? Bring out a Crystal type. Um, and do you still have any parkour? I wanted to try it again. I've not done any parkour in years, dude. Like, literally, literally years. Um, I haven't I haven't had the body to do it. And I'm still not quite there just yet. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there. Like, the last, like, seven or eight months, I've been, like, cleaning up my eating and hitting the gym again. And I'm actually getting slender again, which is quite nice. Um, so that is something I would maybe consider once I um, get back on it. I'd have to find a place that does it, though. You know what I mean? Because I don't think I want to just, like, randomly walk the streets anymore. It makes me sound like I'm some kind of hooker. It's not what I was going for. No, it's, um, yeah, I don't want to just randomly, like, just go out in the city center and stuff and do it anymore. Um, are you interested in a fine property in a toll row? If I can afford it. I'm sure you'll find a way to monetize those tamer skills. When will it be open? Just started the alpha 2 phase of development, whatever that means. Right, interesting. So is this going to be the player housing then? Ooh, I think that's player housing, you know, dude. I think w when you do that, then you're good to go. Also, I'm going to have to run all the way back here to use um to use some heals. Right, let's have a look. 
Oh, you got a wild encounter there. Oh, is it a water bit? Okay, cool. Oh, there's two trainers here. One there, one there. Cheers, lads. The, the money, money is here. here. Uh, let's have a look. Afternoon, Dad. What up, Timothy? How you doing, dude? By the way, if you haven't already, go and uh, have a little look at Timmy's um, TikTok. It's uh, the thing that he's trying to grow at the minute. Um, and he's, he's putting some, some good gags on there. Some top spicy memes. The only thing he didn't do right was he put the capture, like the, uh, like the, the overlaid text from the TikTok in the bottom third. But obviously then you have all of the caption and the socials buttons and stuff. But if you pause it, you can read the caption on his latest one and it's, it's actually quite funny. Because I've definitely felt that way before when I've, uh, <laughs> when I've had to cancel a stream kind of last minute. So I, uh, it's hashtag relatable. Hashtag. Uh, oh, sorry, Great Panther as well with a 332. It says, always wanted to donate to you when I was a kid. And now that I'm older and can afford to donate to you, uh, I want to send you this thank you uh, for the endless amounts of entertainment that you gave me when I was younger. Thank you very much, dude. That's really kind. Just doing my job, man. Um, oh, that's a big boy. I'm tempted to change out the Yumishi, but I partly don't want to either. Let's do that. What do roots do? Mm, nah, minus speed. Let's just go for the sharp leaf. On the Piranient. 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 Piranient's probably how you pronounce it, right? There you go. Pukey's gone. I still want to level up my Pukey because if it becomes a Piranient with the stats that I've got, because basically if you follow the quest line in Dennis, um, when you're on the airship to go to the second island, you get a Pukey, which literally has like 350 stats on it, which is really hard to come by. Normally, it's only the Shinies that actually have that, or the Loomers as they're technically called. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, I tell you what, let's do, hmm, yeah, you know what, I will, I'm going to swap out for Nestler, because Nestler is, I oh, know, no, you know what, I'm not going to, sod it, because I think this allergic spread should actually do a load of damage, god, that tail whip's doing nothing, is it, yeah, okay, that's fine, if the Yumishi's what we're trying to level up, then we should just keep it minimal on the party, been following you forever since, like, 2011, 2012 when the minecraft songs became a thing yeah dude it's a long time ago um i'm gonna have to chill for a turn i might quickly throw a bomb on spreeol keep it alive it seems really busy in the estate that i live in today there seems to be like loads of people walking past but, like you know when they walk past and you kind of think that they're looking at your house and like sizing it up it's like the house is sold so they can't be looking at the house for a potential buy and it just seems a bit creepy maybe they're watching me and they don't realize that i figured it out um okay wait hold on what's this this has got a plus on it so rampage temtem might be cute but when they go on a rampage they inflict damage on the whole team i'm guessing that's the enemy team right and then rampage plus used in combination with an earth ally oh cool okay i mean if it, this is the alteration it should have the little earth icon here but then it does 85 damage otherwise that might be quite good to have instead of roots that's pretty cool. <gasps> An evolution. Who for? Oh, Spriol's evolving. Let's go. It's such a sick evolution animation. Look at it. It became a Deendry. Deendry. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's take it. Um, I tell you what. Let's heal up our new little Deendry. Uh, we'll make sure it can fight in the next battle. There we go. Nice. Let's see what we got. So if you're looking for a spot in the pond, you're going to have to fight for it. Okay. I love that that guy's got his full legal name as his uh, username, by the way. It couldn't, have been, it couldn't have been called, like I don't know, Brent the Warrior or Brent Alicious or something like that. It was like, no, my name is Brent Corrigan. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Um, right, let's see what we got then. Um, I'm thinking... Hmm. How will water moves fare against a flying type? Let's find out. And we'll work on the Calamus with our little grass boy. I think the reason I like the evolution animation is because it's quick. And also looks really cool. Because I know that nowadays you can like skip the evolution animation in like certain Pokemon games and stuff. Oh my god, that's a nasty hit. That's a nasty, nasty hit. Uh, let's bring out Nestler then, you've asked for it. This game looks awesome. It's genuinely really, really good. For people that can like, you know contain themselves for three seconds and decide like you know i'm gonna give this a try even though it looks a bit like pokemon 
you're going to be in for a good time. A really, really good time. Wait, what? Why is it appearing... Normally, this part here... So, this bit... Oh, you can't really mouse up to it. But the little punch icon between the two is normally greyed over if... <laughs> if you can't do the move yet. That's so strange. Anyway, allergic spread. Let's give it a go. Oof. Actually killed them both off. Nice! Bye-bye, boys. Nestler is still super strong. Although, if I want to use Nestler, I need to put it into uh, slot 2. So that I can do damage, damage, and then onto me. Because it's a it's a clockwise move. And it damages three three characters, basically. Uh, an ice move, a water move for 82. That's pretty good. Strangle is quite a good move. Water blade we can maybe do with changing. It uses 22 stamina, though, which is kind of wild. I don't know if it's worth the stamina, but let's throw it in for now as a little temporary thing. See how we get on with it. How may I ask are your cats getting on? Do you still have them? Yeah, they're doing great. Yeah, yeah. Pascal had a little bad bout with um, asthma um, a year or two back. Uh, but she's completely fine now. She's completely over that. She's just doing her thing. Um, is this the correct way to go? Yeah, it's the way we're headed. Battle. Let's go. Um, look, I, is that Laheto or is it Ieto? Not sure. Do you have something against wind? Looks like we're going to be facing some Thames. Oh, God. All right. So many people flexing their Lumera. I'm jealous. So I was tweeting yesterday, actually, saying that I wish there was a way of turning off um, other players' Temtem. Partly because it's annoying seeing all the Lumers. You kind of want that excitement for yourself. But also, as well, I've been spoiled on so many, like, starter evolutions or any Tem evolutions. Um, I would rather see a Temtem for the first time either in the wild or in a combat scenario with an NPC. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like things get spoiled a bit too often, if I'm completely honest. But that's just kind of my, my take on it all. Um, let's see. What can we do here? So Crystal's good against you. So I'm actually tempted to swap you out real quick. And then maybe we'll try the leaf on... The Crystal good with leaf? Yeah, we can try it on you. See what happens. Sweet. Is that gonna hurt? Oh, it's not too bad. It's not even half health. Um, let's see. Crystal dust. Yeah, I reckon if I do crystal dust to this fella, you're gonna get hurt real bad. And we'll get some allergic spread. Pretty good. I think Hoochick should probably go down now. Yeah, times two. Nice. I've seen a lot of Temtems which I haven't seen before, which then pop up. Don't like it either, yeah. Again, it's just one of those little quality of life features. I think it would be very easy to turn that off. Even if they just change, like, you know, opacity value to zero. <laughs> so they're technically still there in the world roaming around, but you just can't see them. But I'm sure there's a way they can they can hard code it properly. Uh, now, I need to be careful because this guy's melee. And melee is really good against crystal, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, no, it's fire is good against crystal. Um, so yeah, I've got to be careful. In fact, I might even swap you out for my Banshee. So I think my Banshee will be really good. Oh, Rampage hits both of them. Ooh, I d it did say it hits the entire team. Yeah, if I bring out Banshee and do a mental move, not as in like, whoa, dude, that was mental. Like, no, it's literally like, it's the, like the equivalent of Psychic, basically. Well, that didn't do very much. Jesus, that overexertion. My bad. Oh, Deendry actually survived the turn. And it KO'd itself. Go on. Deendry gets some cheeky XP. Um, so we're going to have to... Oh, I don't have any offensive mental moves, do I? Mm. Let's swap you out for a... Mm. I guess a water move would work, right? So I'm pretty sure it's water... I'm pretty sure it's fire and melee, that Temtem. Be careful of Crystal. They're strong against mental, yeah. It was a 50-50 risk, really, wasn't it, as to who it was going to try and attack. Wow, Smazzy. Just absolutely got bopped. Is my Banshee finally good? <laughs> it's only level 24, so I don't know. Right, how are we looking? A bit more grass there. It looks as though that's going to be a battle as well. See, look, already I've now had a spoiler that my Deidre, or whatever it's called, you can't actually see it beneath the camera, but now I know that evolves into that. 
Some essence file. Is it ready to go? Oh, it's empty already. Oh, no. Probably should have used a balm plus there, but sod it. There we go. Hopefully, we're not too far away from a, um, from a house. Right. True, it should be able to uh, disable the models. Also, what do you think of the dojos? Um, do you like the mixed typing, or would you rather single type based dojos? Honestly, I like the mixed type. I think that single, like in Pokemon, having single type, it just means that you just have one Pokemon, you blast through with it as long as it's leveled decently, and it's just a boring experience, isn't it? It's just tap A to win, super effective, super effective, super effective. Whereas with the stamina system and the fact that they're mixed, um, I actually much prefer it. I think it's really, really cool. I am well into it. Um, let's see. Let's try a water cannon on you. We'll try a sharp leaf on you as well. Yeah, actually, that wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be quite so effective. And then next turn, that scale will fall to the allergic spread. And then we'll just focus uh, our water move onto the other scale. Easy peasy, dude. I like the recovery that um, Umishi gets between turns. Because Umishi gets just enough stamina back after a turn to get it back up to about 24 stamina. So it could do, an, a, it could do another 21 hit in a row. So it could do two 21 hits even though it has only 41 stamina. Thanks to the brief recovery phase. It's rather nifty. I feel like the mixed types adds a bit of extra challenge, which personally I think is needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what are we going to go for? Melee is good against mental, isn't it? What's good against melee? Uh, oh no, it's the other way around, isn't it? Oh no, wait. Well, no, it's crystals good against melee, isn't it? Crystal is good against... Wait, now I'm getting confused. No, it's melee is good against crystal. Uh... Yeah, it's mental that I want, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there we go. Sorry, I was trying to figure myself out there. Fair enough, you can just sweep the whole dojo while I do miss the consistency. Yeah, I don't know. I think just, like, sweeping the whole dojo wouldn't feel like much of a challenge, right? It'd be no different than just, like, going... If anything, it's easier than going down a route. Because at least when you're going down a route in a game like this, like, there's a, there's a, like, there's a hint of a challenge. Oh, I keep bringing you out, but I don't have any offensive... What's it called moves, do I? I'm going to check my Banshee's moveset after this. I must have a offensive um, mental move. Oh, Deandre, don't die, please. Yeah, you did. I was expecting, to be honest. <laughs> Who are we going to bring out in your place? Um, how about a... We could bring out Umishi and heal it up straight away. Unless we can kill the enemy quickly enough. Don't mess with me, look. Avoid techniques for the next turn. Mm, it's not really what I want. I must have some uh, balm pluses, right? Oh, I don't. Hmm. That would probably work well for you. Let's see. I'm just going to try sharp rain on... I'm going to do it on you just to bring down the health. Let's see if Banshee can survive this turn. Oh my god, please don't do Fierce Claw second time. Okay, good, they spread it out. That's good. That's exactly what we needed. Martin, how long are you streaming for? Uh, not an insane amount of time. So probably for about two and a bit hours from now. When we get to the next um, Tem uh, Porium, dude, I'll make sure I send you your game so you can play along. I don't want you having to sit there all stream waiting. Oh dear. I mean, she's never going to level at this rate. Or evolve, should I say. Right, now I've just got to hope that Banshee can attack first. We have to send out a second term as well. Yeah, I guess so. Um, let's give it to Crystal. Crystal still hasn't evolved yet, and it's level 26. I've had it since it was, what, level 1? I'm guessing. Pretty sure that it starts at level 1. High priority on that move. Oh, but Windburst is even quicker. Jeez. All right. Might need to hit up a smoke bomb, actually, and go back to a Temporium. Just to sort out my team. My team are a little bit low. Let's see. 
Oh, is that a trainer? No, that's the last thing I need right now. I didn't see them. I did, your stupid Nestler was covering them over. I was I was trying to inch around the route to see whether I can actually get to the uh <laughs> to get to the next station. Oh, this is bad. This could be really, really bad. Hmm. Because Electric's not very good against either of you, I don't think. Unless potentially Electric is good against you. Because Lawali's a flying type. Okay, I'm actually hit you for half health with one go. Times two? No, not even close. Oh boy. These Typhoons feel quite strong as well. Please don't attack. Oh no. That is going to do... Yeah, it's going to do some serious work. I'm going to deal with you for a second. Hmm. So what, if I put you to sleep and then I strangle you... Oh, but that would be next turn that you don't do something. Yeah, I'm going to put you to sleep so you can't mess with us too much. And I'm going to strangle you so next turn you can't do anything. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Allergic spread. Oh, boy. Nestler's gone. Yeah, thought so. Oh, boy. This is a battle I wouldn't have chosen to take if I knew they were going to be there. Uh, Crystal, come on. Save the day. Howdy, chat. Yo, what's going on? It's Yurin. How you doing? Uh, Fierce Claw on you. And Glass Blade on you. Should be enough. <gasps> You're surviving like 1 HP. Get out of here. Yeah, it's not going to do anything to a Skunch. He knows that move himself. Nice. They do still have one more Tem, though, in the bag. So I guess we'll see what happens. A Banappy? Oh, it's a Fire type. Oh, no. Isn't Fire really good against Crystal? It is. Oh, no. Let's swap this around then. Let's do this. For XP purposes, I could always swap out an Umishi here. Like if I hit a revive off this next turn. That might be worth doing. I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to play it risky. I'm going to give that a go. Yo, the wild is level 42. It's awesome. Jeez, dude. Is there a max level at the minute? Or does it just go up to like 99 or whatever? Uh, revive on Umishi. I think as long as Umishi's up, actually, it should get XP because it's on the XP share, isn't it? So that should be fine. Uh, let's do Head Ram. Yeah, Umishi's revived, so it's up in the party, so that should be fine. And then if we KO this fella. Ooh, not even not even quite there yet. Oh my god. Um, that's going to knock you out first turn, so that's good. There we go. And that should mean Umishi, Skunch, and Crystal should all get XP there. Three of you. Oh, only two of you. In fact, that's good. Because that's what I was trying to do with the XP. Was get it all to Umishi. Oh, it didn't. Hmm. Did I take off the XP share then? Let me check. Squad. Oh, I did take off the XP share. Who's got it? Who's got the XP share right now? Oh, it's Dean Tree's got it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, hold on, wait. Unequip. You want it. There you go. Good. Uh, right, yeah, real quick. I'm literally not even going to move off this spot because I know I'm just going to end up dying. Smoke bomb. Ooh, split decisions now. Uh, where do we want to go? Let's go towards the quest. Let's go towards the quest icon. What's inside of this item here? We've got a tonic. Two tonic pluses. That's pretty good, dude. Hello, you. Ara. Uh, you're an artist. Yes, as you can see, I'm doing a series of travel sketches for a new collection. Uh, I love how the pans and paints on the Nisi are in red, gold, and honey in the afternoons. I have something to ask of you. If it's a portrait, I'm sorry, but I'm super busy these days. A girl called uh, Ariadne needs a mentor. Oh, so this is one of the little kids that lives on the southern end of Dennis. Right. She's an aspiring artist. She's young but talented. I guess it's time to pay the, the, the way forward. Nice. I'll tell her the next time I'm in Turquesa. Oh, that's cool. So at least that quest is underway now. Oh, wait. There's another quest there. What was the other quest? You know about chromatism. Everyone's a critic. Although, uh, I could use a more complex palette. Okay. How can we help? Uh, you need to know where to get the proper pigments. Let me make a list. So you need some Alazar, Alazar in red. You know what else she needs as well? She needs some crimson white. What are other, like, popular Bob Ross colours? 
Prussian blue. We like, we like Prussian blue around here. Um, purple paint is traditionally made with the discarded shells of growing cypher. Sure. I usually buy mine from a supplier in Brussels de Mar. Okay. What about the other colors? Lapis blue. Best kind. I like it more than Prussian blue. Gotta say. Um, cool. Let's start with purple and then I'm going to need that first. Denim and purple shouldn't be too difficult to find. The other two can wait. Focus on that one. Okay. Nice. 1,100 as well. Jeez. But I guess I have to actually buy the, the materials, don't I? Um, who lives inside of here? What are you up to? My name is Vivacia. Uh, oh, sorry. Miss Vivacia is not giving interviews today. Are you sure about that? Um, you're from the Narwhal, isn't it? The fan. I'm flattered. Although, you could have sent the card instead of coming all the way. Oh, we need a... There's this paparazzo looking for you. Okay. He's been taking unauthorized pictures. I guess he's ordered, uh, give, offered you a bunch of panzans to find my whereabouts. And a picture of you. Can you help me give him the slip? Just tell him I'm, I don't know, in the Kapanku Highlands. Shooting in the extreme sports scene. Oh, God. Nice. So we're going to go lie to that paparazzi guy. How bad is he going to feel if he goes to some kind of dangerous, dangerous climate? Some kind of dangerous, like, you know, landscape. And he injures himself. All because she was a little bit overwhelmed. There we go. To be fair, he shouldn't be hounding her, realistically. Here we go. Eat! Chicken funk. Man, that grass type's really giving us a, a go for it. It's a real thorn in my side, chat. A real thorn in my side. Let's grab out me, uh, me Nestle. No, because that's also a water type, isn't it, Nestle? Um, let's just bring out Banshee. We'll use Sharp Leaf on you. There we go. Banshee should do okay against the uh, Typhoon. This dude's a serious uh, tamer. He's got four of them and he's only one guy. You don't often see that. Uh, Rampage. Sure. Give it a go. Oof. Wind, uh, wind Burst is a pretty uh, beefy move, isn't it? Pretty much any Temtem -tem that uses it, it tends to hit like pretty good damage. Regardless of their like attack stat. That move is rubbish, isn't it? Um, what are we going for? Let's try and burn you down. That should be enough for Windburst to finish you off. Oh no, Deidre. Deidre, down. Overexertion. Alright, we're good. Probably means now that the XP will go to Banshee and Amishi. And if I bring Amishi back out, we can focus down the XP for the rest of this fight. Unless it brings out another grass type. A Banapi. Oh no, that's perfect. We can do that. Perfect. All right. Um, you are going to deal with our friend on the right. Let's go. Oh, no, not that move then. Let's go for a peck. And then you are going to send a water cannon soaring towards them. Very close to death. Look at that. One hit kill. Let's go. To be fair, if a Mishio carries through the, the volcanic part of this island like that, it will get to level 31 and be ready for a trade in no time. Oh, pig epic. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Let's do some basic melee moves here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dear. Okay, Banshee's not poisoned anymore. What do you got? Hypoxia. 120 damage, 30 stamina. Hmm. To be honest, Intimidation's often not that useful. Sometimes it's go for it. There's only 30 damage between those, yet that one is double in a bit. You know what? Actually, no. I'm not I'm not going to use Hypoxia. I don't think. No. I'm going to leave the moveset as is. Um, let's see. That's not going to do much. I guess if I just do Intimidation, we'll just chill for a sec. Sharp Rain. Let's give it a try. It's relatively neutral. Oh, it looks so cool, that move, doesn't it? Look at it. That's ridiculous. In a good way. Ooh. 
Right, so that means that this turn, it's definitely going to be an attack coming in Mishi's way. So if Mishi doesn't finish the job right now, which it did, then it would have gotten killed. Pig Epic can learn Sharp Rain as an egg move. Really? Ah. So I, that's the thing. I've not really looked too much into the breeding and the egg stuff, so I'm quite surprised to hear that, honestly. Um, to mess with this file. There we are. Sweet. I think we're getting close to some buildings, I think. How goes the harvest? It's been a good year, but we're working double shifts just in case the wind changes and the ash plume turns towards Omninesia. Take a Temtem break. Go on, then. Pig Epic is such a good wall at Temtem. What does that mean? A wall Temtem. Um, realistically, I should be using my Nestler here, but let's just see if we can take you out with just these two. Uh, sharp leaf. The level difference is quite dramatic, yeah, because look, Deandre might end up going down here. I might pull out Nestler, just in case. Hmm, actually. Let, let's try and dedicate. Let's try and dedicate. Allergic spreads slightly stronger. This might just do the trick. Oh, come on. You could have attacked the Yumishi. So annoying. Who do you want to give XP to? Um, Crystal. Always give it to Crystal. Let's have a look. Uh, sharp Brain will do the trick. And Crystal Dust. Oof. Heavy hitter, dude. So with the Grandpa being level 30, does that imply that you can get one by level 30? Because I can't remember what level my... Um, my current Paharo is, or Paharok, whatever it's called when it evolves. Um, crystal move of 120 damage. Oof. Um, 27 stamina. And you can do it every turn as well. Oh, that's tempting. You know what, I'll swap for that move. I, I don't think I've ever really used the other one. Like Glass Blade. I pretty much just do Crystal Dust exclusively. And then if I've got the stamina to spare, then I might as well. A Luma? No. That would have been funny if it was. Madam, bam, bam, bam. Um, do we take the XP here? Nah, I reckon we flee. Oh, no. Grass moves are going to go all to Amishi, aren't they? He's going to die. One tap. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. There we go. Got away that time. Splodger. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Here we go. What's happening over here, then? How far have we gotten? Oh, okay, hold on. This looks like it's going to be a thing. I don't know what thing, but it's going to be a thing. So a chill, my you too. Uh, I'm the boring side of the couple. You probably want my wife, Nam Nam Namano. Are you on vacay? Kind of. It's our honeymoon. Oh, okay. Where do you come from? Uhuru. You know, in Kasiwa. Yeah, and I totally know where Kasiwa is. Did he just call him a peasant? Hold on. I'm just a dirty peasant boy from Western Kasiwa. Oh, no, he called himself a peasant. All right. That's not so bad then. I thought she was like, oh, yes, I took pity on this peasant boy and married him. Now my mother is furious with me. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a battle, doesn't it? That's almost certainly going to be a battle with the, um, with the bad folks. So I'm going to use a smoke bomb to go back and heal. And then we'll come and tackle this. There we go. Heal them up. Right, good stuff. Um, real quick, is there anything else I need right now? We've still got more smoke bombs, haven't we? We've got scents and stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, quest. Yeah, the um, the paparazzi guy. She went to Kapanku. He's on his way. I got a pillow. At the start of the turn, restores 10 HP of max HP of an asleep Temtem. Right, okay. So is that a piece of equipment or is it a one-time use kind of thing? Oh, it is. It's, it's that. Interesting. That could be kind of handy, actually. If we were to come up across a load of, like, mental tem, that could actually be really, really handy. Um, before we go to that weird cave that we just saw, let me see if I can find myself a fire tem. So if I was to go down to the ulterior Omninesia, which I'm guessing is just lower than the one that we were just at, I think this area around here is the fiery spot. 
Oh, I'm afraid I can't let you in because of the situation at the volcano. Oh, okay. Cool story, Tem. <laughs> but you need a written authorization from Tahani. Right, okay. So we can't actually go into the fiery bit just yet. Fair news. This game looks so peaceful. Dude, it's really good, Mini. I think you'd actually really enjoy it. It's basically a Pokemon game, but it's not. So if you've not played that much Pokemon, it doesn't matter because everything in this game is new. So, like, you'll have as much knowledge as everybody else and everybody's, like, super up for it, like, seeing what it's got to offer. Um, yeah, it's a good little number, this. I mean, I just realized that rainbow suddenly, like, shoots out when you enter the water bit. What in the hell is that? What's that thing? I've never seen one of those before, not even following somebody around. A Babawa. Oh, I want it. Really bad. I'm just going to do some basic moves. We'll get rid of the pukey first and then we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to get this. I just don't want to KO it. You know what I mean? Because I'm guessing it's a water type. It did slime. What did that do? Did it help? Oh, does that mean that I can't trade out Deendry for a turn or two? Half damage from the pukey as well. Nice. Let's try a lower water move just to see whether it is water type. And then I'll do a uh, sharp leaf to get rid of the pukey. There you go. So you're gone. Yeah, a Babawa. Never seen this. Yeah, so it is a water type. In fact, it might be water and leaf. Water and grass, maybe. This should be interesting. Let me try a lower... Let me try a lower grass move to see whether it suddenly takes a load of damage. Uh, let's stick with the lower water moves. I'm just going to inch its health down little by little. There's not a world of difference between these two, so let's just try the allergic spread. Okay, that's not too bad. I reckon from here on out, then, we lower its health with a Mishi, and then we throw, um... We throw a load of stuff in it. Yeah, that's fine by me. Right, I'm just going to try regular Tem cards to start with. See if we can get any anything lucky out of it. Look at that thing. It's so cool. First time. Let's go, dude. So what in the world are you? You're a water and nature type. That's bonkers. When resting, restores 15% of max HP and removes the sleep status condition. Right. It's got some fairly decent stats. It's got really low stamina and special defense, but not bad. A Babawa. Send that one to the Tem deck. All right, good stuff. The stats aren't very good, but it's a brand new one for me, so... I'm excited all the same. If you put a pillow on it, it heals 25% of its health every time it sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, there's a Snorlax. Um, let's just flee from this. There we are. I want to preserve all my HP and my items and stuff. For when we go into the cave, which is never going to happen if we keep hitting these encounters. If only I had a fire type to burn these boys down. I'm guessing I'm about to get a fire type as soon as I enter the volcano, though. Come on, let me out this grass. There we go. Oh, there's an item with that fella down there as well. Let me see if I can make my way around to him. Is it this way and then right? It is, yeah. Let's have a quick look. Hello, you. Ooh, bomb pluses. That'll do. Not you. I wanted to talk to this fella. Do you not see the three dots there? Sweet Tim. Oh, he's a trainer. Oh, he's the Temtem King of Omnesia Ceteria. You're about to find out why. I am in trouble then, if that's the case. Is that what you got? A Deendry? That's it. Is it really strong, though? I bet it's a proper high level one. Level 29. That's actually not that bad. Um, let's bring out a... Crystal. <laughs> let's just do a nibble. I've got some breed jacks that can't be sold. Th is that a, a phrase for breeded rejects? There's something double sad about that phrase. <laughs> We're really bad for the Temtem that fall into that category. Rampage. Go on then. Give it a whirl. Ooh! Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's so over the top. <laughs> that's amazing. Some of the moves in this game look sick, dude. I really like him. Can I just do that again? Yeah. It's going to use up a lot of health, though, isn't it? Oh, it's going to leave me on, like, 1 HP. I don't care, though. 
Oh, okay, now it's going to literally kill me. In a way, that's not too bad, because it means that Deendry will get full experience from this encounter. Because obviously Crystal won't be there to cash in on it. There we go. Deendry knocked out. Crystal dies to itself, because it's an idiot. Alright. Nice. Would you like a half-decent fire type? Uh, not just yet. No, I think I want to experience the game in the order that I meant to receive certain Temtem. Because somebody sent me like a Luma one that was like a toxic type. But I'd rather be able to catch it myself first and then maybe I'll accept them from viewers. Um, let's flee from you. Ooh. Hold on, my phone is blowing up right now. I've got a million emails coming in. Just want to triple check that Nettie's not needing me. No, she's okay. She hasn't even looked at her phone in hours. Great. So we've got this little battle down here. Um, quickly heal up our team. Thank you, come Crystal. Nice. And use some bombs on you as well. There we are. Right. Let's see what we've got then. Approaching the giant Banyan. This place is closed. No tourists, no locals. Get back to town. Nothing to see here. Okay. Hmm. By the Solaro. Martin, what are you doing here in Omnesia? Oh, this is Carlos. So, for context, Carlos is a reporter. And he really creepily has a file on everybody. Like, he knew exactly who I was um, when I first met him and stuff. So, we'll just see. Um, let's have a look. After all, you kicked the clan Bel uh, Belsotto out of the Windward Fort back home. But I gotta warn you, this can be a bit tricky. Are you up for a little action? Absolutely. Let's kick some uh, Belsotto butt. This place is a natural fortress, so there's no point in fighting the grunts. We won't be able to break into the giant banyan anyway. Not without a medium-sized army. So what do we do? Here we go. Watching them for a while, every six hours they change shifts. Oh, it's telling me that my... <laughs> my shredder that I had delivered two hours ago has just arrived. Good job, Amazon. Um, let's have a look. I think they're all going to a little pond down by the hang road to have a bath and unwind. That's a good place to catch them off guard. Uh -huh. So where's that? It's all the way down in the ulterior Omnesia, a wild region. Uh -huh. Right. Hmm. Once you get there, just try to find anything we can use. A key, maybe. Some sort of uh, password. A secret back door. Anything. Get to the pond, find uh -huh. something, get back. Okay. One signed authorization. Oh, so this will now allow me to go to that part. An authorization from Tahani. Oh, God. That's quite funny. So we know we haven't even seen Tahani yet. Tahani is somebody that we met, actually, back in Turkessa, which is on the uh, southeastern border of uh, Deniz, the island. Um, and she apparently is the dojo leader for um, another part of this game. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know Ganky evolves. Yeah, dude. It does. Yeah, yeah. It just becomes a slightly bigger version of itself. It doesn't look particularly impressive, if I'm honest. Um, I'm just going to flee from these two. I'm, I'm running through the bush instead of using the scent, just in case there's any, like, cool interactions to be had. Like any special tem pop-up. I think, actually, this is a shortcut straight to the... Um... Yeah, basically it's a shortcut straight to the lift. Nice. Oh, no, wait. What's this building? You the new gaffer? We need to talk about the lighting, mate. I definitely don't rent this property. I'm sorry. Sorry, mate. We're all nda six ways. NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, everybody. Means, basically, you're not allowed to tell secrets about projects you're working on. All right. That's fine. Nothing going on there. Who else we got? The dialogue's too long. They're destroying the plot and pacing the whole movie. How am I supposed to tell a story if they keep changing the lines every day? Oh, body double stunt woman script reviewer. I'm a script reviewer. Here we go. Oh, it's just told me to get out. Oh, no. Oh, train. I uh, wasn't expecting you. Right, it's a Temtem trainer. Let's see what you got, mate. What spice you bring in? Uh, a Kapaya. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, water cannon's probably the jobby, isn't it? There we are. Um... I'm going to try and survive the turn. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I just survived. Oh, it's level 30 as well. I hadn't realized. It's quite high level. Nice. 
I'm going to swap out Dean Dree. Actually, I probably don't need to. Actually, no, maybe I will. Unless, what's the priority on these moves? They're all about the same. What's the priority on that? Priority of two. Alright. Wait, what? I'm going to swap you out just in case. Um, let's swap you out for... Banshee. That'll do. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, I wish my fiance could not look at her phone for hours. Well, it's because she's having a haircut today. She's having a cut and colour. So that's probably why she's not on her phone. Is because she's probably busy chatting to the um, to the hairdressers and stuff. Our hairdressers that we have are really nice. Like that's another thing that we're really sad about leaving Bristol. Um, is that we've got a really good place that like do our hair really well every single time, um, and they're also really nice. But a little part of me is kind of tempted to, like, use that as my excuse to come back to Bristol. <laughs> like, if I come back to Bristol, like, once every month, month and a half, I'll come back for a few meetings at the Yogg's office and, like, catch up with people here and also go for a haircut. Seems to be having to find anyone new, doesn't it? Seems like a solid idea for me. Uh, oh, 